In this video, we will explore the basics of how photo-eye optical sensors work and how their sensitivity can be adjusted. On the side of the photo-eye, there are two lights and an adjustment screw. The top light, labeled out, is a red light that turns on or off when a bale moves in front of the sensor. For photo I1, which is comprised of photo eyes 1A, 1B, and 1C wired together, the lights remain off until a bale moves in front of it, and then it turns on. For photo eyes 2 and 3, the operation is reversed, and the light remains on until a bale moves in front of it, and then it turns off. The following examples will use the behavior of photo I1, but keep in mind that it is reversed for photo eyes 2 and 3. The bottom green light, labeled PWR, should be on whenever the sensor is receiving power. If it is not on, there is a power supply problem, and the operator should check the wiring of the photo eye in the front and band electrical boxes. The adjustment screw controls the sensitivity of the photo eye's infrared receiver. This determines the effective range at which the photo eye can detect a bale. Turning the screw clockwise increases the range, and turning it counterclockwise decreases the range. Now let's see how this plays out. Here we have a photo eye set to a certain sensitivity. When a bale crosses into the photo eye's field of vision, the red out light turns on. Now the sensitivity is reduced by turning the screw counterclockwise. Notice that the red light turned off even though the bale is still in front of the sensor. This means the sensor's range is now too short and the bale will not be detected correctly. The other extreme can be a problem also. Here the sensitivity is increased by turning the screw clockwise. Notice that the red light turned on even though the bale is not in front of the sensor. This means the sensor's range is too large and it is detecting another object further away. The photo eye sensitivity should be adjusted to the specified range in the operator's manual, which depends on the location of the photo eye. This information can also be found in the video description below.